So, you know, it's really neat to listen to your process just because I feel like with each series, like you were saying, mm -hmm. like with the Space Invaders, it just feels like you were inspired by something like in the moment or a circumstance, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I love your series in Into the Trees. <laughs> and oftentimes I'll have local, um, different people locally coming Good to yeah. uh, have sessions with me and they'll ask about those, the Into the Trees. So can you tell me more about that yeah. inspiration there? So I did, I did a painting and I was working, this was in 2019, maybe late 2018, early 2019. I was working with pour painting, which is a technique where um, you mix the paint really loose and then you mix in some silicone with it or some oil. Um, so I, you work with acrylics and so you mix it almost like water and then you pour it out and as you pour it out, the, it reacts with the silicone and then it kind of creates these big cells, like these big bubbles. And so I was working with that a lot, but. I, uh, you see it a lot, but when you see it, it's kind of like these really um, either psychedelic or like space scenes or something like that. And I'm like, I want to try to refine this a little bit more. And since my mom's here, she has done the best job of refining this technique. And if you go look up LJ Corbett and she's got these beautiful sea turtles she's been doing with this core painting, well, she's taken it way further than I have. So um, I wanted to try to refine this process. And the colors I was using and the way they were coming out really reminded me of trees. And like as a child laying on the ground and looking up through the branches towards the sky and just seeing all these different branches and then all these different leaves and patterns and stuff. And so I started playing around with that quite a bit. And um, then I started exploring that series. And it was, well, how many, I think I did, I think I did 10 paintings in that series. Um, and so one of them we still have hanging kind of at the bottom of our, it was the first one that I actually did. We have hanging at the bottom of our stairs at home. And so when people come over um, mm -hmm. for readings and stuff, they see that, um, they see that painting the most. Um, I have a few of them left. Um, I think they're on my website or um, I think quite a few of them are gone though. Um, but it's just, you know, that childhood wonder where you're kind of just out playing and having fun and then you just kind of lay down and take a break and you kind of look up through the trees and let your imagination go well that's what I was trying to capture with these and I did a whole bunch of different like times of the year like I did autumn and spring and um, summer and then with some winter ones and I did all different types of trees you know or at least I tried to do all different types of trees um, but with the pore painting you don't have a lot of control you can kind of direct it a little bit but then it does its own thing which i really love about it because then you get all these really really cool patterns and all these really cool um effects and layering and stuff like that and then you can kind of come back through and clean it up how you want it to look and stuff so um that's kind of where that yeah, came about yeah, that. yeah and you know what really interested me with that too was just that childlike wonder and then also what was interesting i remember taking a walk and we were talking about through the trees and i think you just stopped and you looked at the sunset and you, you were just talking about the emotion that you felt yeah. with the sunset and the sunsets in general and just how much emotion comes into yeah. you with the sunset yeah. and i feel like on an empathic level what was really interesting was being able to feel what you felt like with the sunsets coming in and it was, uh, it, it's beautiful and almost just overwhelming to be able to uh, tap into just because I felt like this is the depth of the sunsets that you were feeling inside you. And it's almost like, uh, to me, it just felt like this mixture of emotions. It felt like, you know, almost like this deep, uh, this depth of gratitude for the sunset. And I also feel like almost like um, a happiness yet a sadness at the same time, like almost just like the sun was going to set and then we weren't going to have that beautiful sunset mm. anymore, you know? And so I feel like a lot of your art is empathic, is intuitive, is spiritual. Mm -hmm. And so with that, um, if you can just share a little bit more about, about your background, I mean, just oh, yeah. with college. So uh, my background is um, in theology. So I have an undergraduate degree in um religion and philosophy and with an emphasis in biblical studies. And then I went on and got a master's degree in theology. So that's kind of my background. Um, I worked in a very a couple of churches um, and a couple of universities and kind of kind of went into that area a little bit, but I, it just, it really missed the mark, I think, and just really wasn't living up to all the potential that I feel like it has. And so I haven't really been satisfied with kind of going down that path. And I find a lot more satisfaction in doing my artwork. and. Um, exploring that spiritually and just exploring life in general spiritually so um and about that that sunset i i feel like so i i feel like i'm a very sensitive person and um so over the years i've learned to put up um uh, like a stone face like a barrier a wall and i've had to do that for kind of um my own well-being my own 
emotional well-being, you know? And so um, sometimes I can have experiences that are just overwhelming and just break me down like watching a sunset. And if I don't maintain that um, barrier, if I don't keep that wall up, then I'm just overwhelmed with these experiences. And it's just, it can be very hard, very um, Im impactful, you know? And so I really try to, that's why I don't show a lot of outward emotion, I think, is because I've had to build that up. Um, and if I don't, then I just don't know if I could control what's behind it. And that's the beauty about coming to my studio is because then I don't have to. I can just do what I want. I can listen to my music. Um, I can meditate. I can just throw paint. Um, I can just express myself unfiltered. And I don't, I don't have to have that that barrier up. So having you all in my studio is wonderful, but at the same time, it's a little nervous, a little nerve wracking. Um, so but thank mm -hmm. you all for coming here. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I think that that's kind of what is to be said about being an empath and, yeah. and just, you know, being empathic. And I know that I've shared before that there's different times, you know, those of you who have been following me for a while, like using those discernment techniques and whatnot, just so things are not so overwhelming so we can mm -hmm. kind of exist in the world and just recognize like when we're in our own energy versus others' energies or also just you know, recognizing that some, just like you said, sometimes things are just really overwhelming. So mm -hmm. it's hard in that moment, we're not able to necessarily like process um, completely in that moment. And right. so it sounds like you come to the studio and that's where you're able to process. It is, it mm -hmm. is. And, and I, if, when I look back upon my life and any time where I've had, um, where things have been really difficult, really stressful, really, even, even when I wasn't pursuing my artwork before that time period, I would always revert to drawing or doodling or coloring to get through that pro to get through that stressful time. It just really helped keep me centered and calm and just helped me focus on and, and help me keep sane, you know? And I think there's a lot of people that are like that. I mean, just over the last few years, it's become this whole big new business of using coloring or drawing or um, doodling as means of expressing your spirituality and your, your, emotional well-being i mean you can get coloring books on it you can get mm -hmm. just all yeah. kinds of stuff so i think people are seeing that you know they're, they're seeing that connection more and more so which is great i think it's great yeah for sure yeah. and then how does spirituality kind of unfold into your art is it just art is spirituality spiritually is art or how does that thread in um it's sometime for me sometimes when i come to the studio it's just a time to kind of regurgitate and just a time to just kind of get it all out. And other times um, I have a specific vision and I don't, that I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, like with this series that I've been working on, coming back from um, this funeral, you know, I just really felt like I needed to be grounded. And so the, the, the colors I chose and the themes I chose, um, they're, they're kind of snowy mountain scenes, they're abstract. So they're, they're, um, the colors I use, they're, they're, the earth tones are deeper colors. Um, they are more of a grounding effect. So when I'm painting, it helps keep me grounded, just seeing the colors and seeing the patterns and then um, exploring within that realm a little bit. Um, and, you know, for me, nature is really important and um, it helps keep me um, focused differently. You know, I think sometimes we can get kind of carried up in the world and carried off, but you know, spending time like taking my dogs out on a walk or something just kind of helps bring me back into reality, helps me bring me back into here and present that everything's okay, everything's, you know, just mm -hmm. that, that grounding effect. So, mm -hmm. and, and sometimes, you know, I know people, they, when they think about their spirituality and painting, they want to like paint angels or they want to paint, you know, biblical scenes or they want to paint, you know, but for me, that's, that's not really, that's not really where my spirituality is. Uh, I'm not a realist painter necessarily. I'm more of an abstract painter. And so I'm trying to capture more of a sense of um, not necessarily a metaphor or a scene. I'm trying to capture more of an experience. And so when people look at my works, I'm hoping that they bring their own life into it and they look at it and for them, it's, it speaks to them. It's, they find some meaning in it in the sense of um, it reminds them of some experiences they've had or, or seeing the painting provokes an emotion within them, which, which then could be beneficial for their own well-being. Or, mm -hmm. so. yeah, you know, it almost makes me feel like you're processing with your art as you're making your art mm -hmm. and then people viewing your art are able to process it mm -hmm. well. Like it's almost like you're offering that to other people as well. And just like you said, with the spirituality, it's almost like, you know, just recognizing that 
and you could be realist with this and, and create, you know, spiritual paintings and that kind of thing via right. like angels, guides, that type right. of thing. And then with the abstract, you know, version of it, it's almost like that recognizing that we're able to experience spirit through the art mm -hmm. and then you offering people to come into your art it's almost like then you're offering them to be able to experience that art being able to you know maybe simultaneously experience spirit or spirituality mm -hmm. with that does mm -hmm. that sound about right yeah and for me i don't i don't feel like a piece of artwork is ever finished i don't feel like it's done because when it leaves me and like if I sell a piece and it goes off to somebody else and they turn around and resell it or what or whatever happens with it, that piece is still gonna hold a different meaning for every person who sees it. And every person who sees it is gonna bring their own filter, their own baggage, their own way of perceiving what that painting is and what it means to them. And so that that piece changes the meaning of it, the the truth behind it. It changes with every person. And so it's never complete, you know? And not not that. Uh, you know, maybe in the future I'll come through and make some remarks on it or something. I don't know, but probably not. Once I've sold it, it's gone. But the meaning of that piece continues to change. And there's also the, the piece over time is going to change as well because oh, it's going to get dinged or nicked or paint's going to flake off and it's going to pick, it's going to have new marks on it. And that's going to bring new meaning to other people. People are going to look at it and say, oh, it's dirty. And that's going to remind them of, you know, an overbearing mother who always was on about their dirty room. Or, you know, it's going to be, you know, or they're going to look at it and say, this is a beautiful piece. You know, I've never seen a piece like this before. Um, if somebody can paint this, then there's so much more we could do with life, you know, because it just opens doors, opens minds, makes them look at things differently. Um, so I don't feel like a piece is ever completed, like, okay, it's done, because, um, you know, like, if you look at a Norman Rockwell, and I don't know if you know who he is, but he painted a whole bunch of, like, um, Post and Time magazine covers back in the 50s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and there are all these really quaint at-home pieces, you know, and you look at it and you're like, oh, that captures a moment in time, and it defines that moment in time, you know, and it's like, okay, that piece is complete because here's a little kid with his wagon that's turned over and he scraped his knee and there's mom helping him up, you know, oh, what a cute little scene. It's all about motherhood, yada, yada, yada. Um, but that piece is complete, you know, maybe it'll remind us of our own mothers or something, but it's done, it's finished. And like my pieces aren't like that because everybody who looks at them, the mind and the eye wants to find something in them to, to capture, to to hold on to, you know, but everybody's going to find something different and it's going to remind them of something different and it, that piece is going to continue to develop and grow over time and it's going to kind of bring up, bring about its own mythos and then its own its own world, its own mind, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, I like that. I like it too just because I feel like then you're going to have a different experience each time, Right. you know, you could come into one of your paintings and notice one aspect of it have this experience or have this process and then mm -hmm. next time you come to that painting it's going to be completely different and so it almost makes sense that there's not going to be this beginning and end of any sort you know it almost feels like no painting would ever really be done right. you know yeah. that just yeah. it just feels like that um, I have a funny story um, you probably know what I'm going to share but when we were first dating <laughs> I loved his painting so much and I wanted to give him a gift of um, being able to have some of his paintings framed and so it was <laughs> quite the anticipation just because I was so excited. I had to kind of like steal the paintings and go, go get them matted and framed and that type of thing and <laughs> giving them to you for your, your birthday. Yeah. And then he, he opens up the first one and he's like, oh, it's not done. <laughs> and it was like fully matted, fully framed. Well, no, it's not. It's not that they weren't finished. It's just that they were, they were just studies. I mean, I was done working on them, but they're, they were just <laughs> studies. And so they weren't like, they, I didn't paint them to be like matted and framed and finished. Right. I mean, it was, it was wonderful, <laughs> but you know, and, I, and it was a wonderful treat to be able to see yeah. my, and we have hanging in our house and they're just mm -hmm. to be able to see my works framed and, and you know, it makes right. them feel complete when they're framed, I guess. So yeah, it's yeah. just, it was, it was it fun. Nice. I like that. Um, another thing that we, we do is we'll go over and just kind of we've had these different kind of reminiscing of like Dobbs art, like in a, in a biography or in a book somewhere and like, periods of time that you've gone through, like this must have been a dark time in Dolph's life, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. And I'm just curious, like, what is what is this time? The time we're in right now, oh, um, with this series that I'm working on, I think I'm moving, like I went really, really, I'm gonna show them this one. Yeah. Um, I went really, really after, well, you kind of saw the other ones too, but this was the series I did before the, uh, 
before the uh, Invader series. This was called Retro. And um, I went really, really abstract, like kind of really crazy out there, you know? And, um, and now I feel like I really need to come back to something. And so I'm moving much more back towards, I kind of started with landscapes and I feel like I'm kind of moving back towards landscapes. So there's a lot of landscape themes. Like if you looked at these, these new ones that I'm doing, um, and I have a few pictures on my Instagram, so you can go to my Instagram and take a look there. Um, you can kind of make out like trees and mountains and the, you know, it kind of looks like maybe grassland and snow, you know, I mean, it's definitely an abstract, but those, those, those elements are there. And if you, if you want to see those elements there, they're easy to find. It's not like I'm hiding them. Like these other ones, you really have to dig hard to try to bring something tangible or something realistic out of the ones I was doing uh, last year and the year before, mm -hmm. you know, but now I'm kind of moving back towards, okay, I need to be, I feel like I need to kind of get my back into my roots and back into some kind of landscape painting and some kind of um, something that's a little bit more grounded. Mm -hmm. yeah. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. I feel like too, like just with the pandemic and that type of thing, like with the Space Invaders, like, mm -hmm. you know, that series and then where we're at now, like let's say two years later, we don't know where this is going to go, but at the same time, you're just being able to be in this grounded state or nature yeah. or that type of thing. It's almost just this um not progression necessarily but just this is where you're at now yeah you know and, yeah. and it, it feels centering i don't know if that it is it very mm -hmm. much is you know and and i will sit with this series until the series is done and that might be three paintings it might be 13 15 100 i don't know you know so right now i feel like there's at least one more coming and maybe two or three we'll just have to wait and see but i don't i don't feel like this series that i'm in is done yet and so i will be working on it for the next few months at least so mm -hmm. it's just um just I feel like that's still in me that I have to process through mm -hmm. and that's usually how it is with series you can you kind of feel when you're done with them you know and you're like okay I'm I'm done with this I need to move on to something else and it might take you all of exploration until you find that next thing you want to explore but um it comes mm -hmm. it comes yeah I'm curious about this painting <laughs> this is not from a series no this is this is okay so this is um on the back it says for Heather happy 14 years love you so this is the one i painted just for heather um to hang in her her office um so this was just me exploring you know the system of her colors and, and just just a flower and an abstract so it's a little bit me and this is a little quite a bit of the poor painting that i was doing and um it was just an exploration for us together and um something for you so you know mm -hmm. something happens to me and then in like 30 years, you can sell it for like a million dollars. So, See, that's you know. the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> I'm definitely not framing it though. It's already framed. Oh, it is already framed, isn't it? Okay, shoot. I framed it for you. Yeah, it's done. done. It's done. Okay. I framed it for you. So this is just so she can she can put this in her office and then she has it kind of behind her. I don't know if you watch her videos, you'll probably see it peeking behind her once in a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sits, yeah. And what was interesting, I think it was the first summer of the pandemic, I think is what it was. And so yeah. we weren't able to go to a restaurant for our anniversary. So yeah. we just did um, handmade gifts <laughs> and I learned how to play the violin. She played a song on the violin for me. <laughs> yeah. By Barney. And <laughs> I love you. you, I love you. <laughs> and and Owen was amazing at being able to like serve us. Was, he was our waiter. Yeah, we turned our we turned our dining room into a little restaurant, and I made a meal, and then Owen served us as a as a wait, waiter and brought us all our food and mm -hmm. took care of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. that was that was pretty fun. And I feel like with this, um, you know, in particular, like this is more of that realism coming through though. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just like you said too, like these, these are my colors, like the pinks and the purples and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm, I'm going to probe you a little bit. So I'm curious about these because um, they definitely grab my eye, like a lot of like sparkly kind of energy and that type of thing. Like what, what were you thinking? What were you processing as you were going what into were you this? Thinking? What were you thinking, huh? <laughs> uh, well, so these are, yeah, these are kind of my colors. Blues, we mix it through purples. And then I put the yellows in because it kind of helps kind of tie the background in and stuff. Um, I don't, I was just exploring, um, these are like, what are they called? The, um, the steam or something. Yeah, no, something like that. Something. <laughs> anybody, anybody? Anybody? Yeah. <laughs> anybody know what those are called? Uh, so this is not obviously this is this is not a real flower. This is just something I made up. So it's got a, kind of a little bit of a rose and a little bit of not a rose, a little bit of a daisy and a little bit of not, you know. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of a bunch of different flowers kind of all mixed together. Kind of a, a general flower shape. And so uh 
I just felt like well, after I did this initial pour, I felt like it needed more. And so I did these kind of just to help bring a little bit of motion and a little bit of um, action into it because it kind of was just sitting there, kind of just, you know. And then um, I put all these little dots on to kind of help brighten it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I think too, like as you know, like looking at this particular picture, like it, like he said, like it's in the video behind me, you know. And whenever I'm doing videos or or sessions or that type of thing, and it it makes me feel like connected to you. Mm -hmm. Like I just feel that, and I just get a sense too that with that, you're. I just feel like you're always with me. So I feel that it. it I think it's been out there for like two years now, but at yeah. the same time, it's almost like helping me too to be able to be somewhat grounded with that energy as well. And I think it's beautiful to listen to your process because I just think, you know, you said your blues, like blue's your favorite color. And mm -hmm. so just allowing for that to be this kind of mixture of both of us and um, being, you know, just allowing for us to be together, like however that, however that mm -hmm. um, transpires. And it's, it's inspiring to me. I mean, you know, I love pink. So I um, just feel like that it's such an inspiring color to me. And I thank you for, for doing somewhat realism for me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for sharing about art and spirituality. Yeah, yeah. I just, um, Stamen. Stamen. Who's that? Is that, that Mitchell? Is... Hi, Mitchell. Hi, Mitch. The Earth Heals. Well, maybe we can grab some of these comments. Okay. Um, what do you got? Yeah. Thank you. Mitchell's here. Mitchell Corbett. Yay. So a lot of people join saying hi. Yeah, there we go. Um, do you want to grab to grab Hayden? This one up here. Looks like how do I do it? Do you scroll down. Scroll down this way. We can't see comments on the personal page, but we'll have to look at them later. Let's see here. I love I love using painting as an activity to completely shut off my worries and just lose myself. Yes. That's so true. Is that Sharon? That's uh, that? JC. Oh, JC. Awesome. Yeah. And then Sharon. Yes, I'm with JC. Hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs. I want to like be in your energy. Shoot. Sorry. I'm sorry for a personal page that I can't see your comments. Oh my gosh, there's a ton over here, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I seeing it right up my nose. <laughs> Danielle, beautiful. Do you sell any of your work? I do. Yep. I have a website. It's um Dav Corbet, it's D A A V C O R B E T dot com, um, and you can also find me on Instagram. And um, yeah, I, I sell my work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and my my thing is I'm always attached to like whatever paintings. So I'm like, no, I'm not that one. Don't let that one go. Don't let that one go. So I, this is another thing when you painted that for me you know you were like this is yours this is yours you don't it's actually it's, it's actually the second one i've painted her it's true i paint mm -hmm. i painted her a really big one that sits over our piano it's, it's uh mm -hmm. it's really big uh i think it's four foot by five foot it's really big mm -hmm. and i painted that one when you were on one of your first retreats i think yeah and i came home and yeah, you had and painted, had painted it and you had it above the piano it up, yeah thank you yeah That's sweet <laughs> yeah. so thank you so much for joining us and just like Dov said yeah. you're able to see his paintings at his website yeah. and follow him on Instagram and that type of thing and it's it's just been it's, it's enriching for me to be able to be with you and through the process and also just to be able to share it because it's yeah it's it's um it's been quite a journey just my life in general and meeting her and getting married and having a kid and <laughs> He's no over there, over there. <laughs> playing his game. Playing his game on his phone. Oh, he's smiling at us now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's just, yeah, and just where where life goes, you know, you just you never know. It mm -hmm. just it takes so many turns, and and you don't you don't know um, where you're gonna go next. You know, it's just you just kind of keep moving forward, and mm -hmm. things happen, and and uh, you just appreciate them, and just keep on moving. So absolutely, yeah. I love that. Is there anything else you want me to say? Whatever you want to say. Whatever I want to say. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. And I so I'm can yeah. I'm gonna do a little shout out to the people on my page of course. that are watching. Um this is my wife Heather, and um she's a medium and spiritual advisor. And um people over here on these other cameras already know that because that, that's why they're on the page probably. <laughs> we got Instagram and Peyton and yeah, Facebook. we have so she's got her own Instagram page and then she's got uh, a, a Facebook group and um then this she's is my her, personal her, yeah her, oh her mm -hmm. personal page okay mm -hmm. yeah so um 
And, and sometimes I think people are like, okay, wait a minute. So you, <laughs> wait, <I'm> how's this <laughs> work? This, yeah. How's this work? I, th I think that's, so, yeah, that's great to address. Um, so for me, um, so like I said earlier. And you're looking at like spirituality. Spirituality, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not how do we work, because we work, we work, <laughs> we work. A <laughs> She's always working. She's a, she's a good <laughs> right, hard worker. True, and, uh, but I think as far as our spirituality goes, I think it's compatible because, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, was raised very much a Christian and, um, I, I think right now I call myself like a post Christian. And so, um, because now well, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but, um, I still read my Bible every day. I still, um, you know, believe in God and, and all that stuff. And you're like, and I know people in, in friends and family might be like, well, how can you be married to a medium? How, how can you make that work out? You know, how does that work? And for me, what it always comes down to is um, what I feel is spirit and um, what I feel like that means. And so for me, the work that Heather does brings so much healing and light and love and so much um, health into people's lives that it has to be from spirit and so anything from spirit is of god and and so i i believe that she's really doing this this uh spiritual work that she's really doing the work of spirit you know and so i don't feel like there's any incompatibility with my belief systems and what she does at all you know but i probably don't have the most traditional of beliefs because i put a lot of time and effort into studying what i really believe and what really is taught and um so I have different views. Now, if people want to have a conversation with me about those views, that's great. I'm open to it. I'm all, you know, I'd love to sit down and have a dialogue with you. If people just want to come on and troll, I'm just going to shut you down. Because if you're going to be a troll, you're not of God. Okay? Mm. Period. Period. Mm, Mike, drop on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the number one thing. If you are on internet trolling people and their belief systems, there's no way you're from God. God's not a troll. God will not enlist a troll. Okay. So um we can just shut that down right now. And you can threaten me all you want. It's not gonna bother me. <laughs> if you want to have a conversation in the dialogue, that's fine. But we need to respect one another's positions and beliefs and we can have a conversation about it. And I'm I'm open to that. I'm, you know, completely 100 percent open to that. Um so I don't feel like there's any I don't feel like we're incompatible at all. And I've learned so much from her that I never learned in the church, like how to pray, how to be in touch with my intuition, how to um, be in touch with spirit on like a real, real, real daily basis, you know. And I've done tons and tons and tons of Bible studies and spirituality studies and psychology and spirituality studies. And, you know, I've done all this stuff my whole life in the church. But in a couple of years, well, how long have you been doing this as a medium now? Three years? Four years? So I've, I've, been, I've been out, out. Um, for five years. Five mm -hmm. years. So in the last five years, seeing how much she's grown and just like, because I'm close to her all the time, you know, mm -hmm. it rubs off on me. <laughs> I've learned so much more than I did in 25 years in the church. Just about mm -hmm. synchronicity and about how spirit works in the world. And, you know, and, and I know people might have conflict with that but that's fine we can have a dialogue about it if you want so mm -hmm. um and i really wish and and i feel like in my studies of like the early church i feel like they're much more closer to how she views the world and, and how she operates in the world than the church especially the church in america is today where it's just so close and so like you believe this anything outside of these lines is wrong and it's like no mm -mm, that's just not the way it works okay it's not, you know, because spirit exists, spirit is real, and spirit works with us so we can kind of co-create, so we can have a life together, so we can make a better life, so we can bring healing and health and compassion and love into the world to make a better world for everybody. And I feel like yeah. that's kind of what you do. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that. Yeah. And, you know, I just feel like you you summed it up and it that was a really great just summary and yeah. how just like he said, just how we work. And I really appreciate that because I all get that um, question, you know, quite quite often. And so just with looking at that, you know, I had to kind of go through my own process and kind of move through my own, like maybe shame for being who I am and that type of thing. But at the same time, just recognizing that, um, 
you know, this is of God, like this, this is a spirit, like this is, you know, the gifts that I'm bringing forward, just like you said, are healing and are being able to be transformative and that kind of thing. And they're necessary, like mm -hmm. it's necessary for me to bring that forward. And that's what I teach, you know, also my students, you know, um, Reiki students, mediumship students, VIPs, what's up, woo -woo. Uh, but just recognizing like you, you are of God, like you are of spirit. And so these gifts were given to you for a reason not to shut them down and not to mm -hmm. use them but just to recognize that this is um it's very very necessary for us to be able to bring forward whatever gifts we have your art you know mediumship you know any gifts that, or any skills that you have that were given to you by spirit just recognizing that that's mm -hmm. important to bring it forward so yeah. i appreciate that and i appreciate your um your support with that so oh, absolutely 100 percent. yeah 100%. yeah so great to have you Bell yeah today. well thank you for coming to my studio and visiting yeah good deal <laughs> so definitely if you have any questions for yep. dov or want to check out his art it's dovcorbett.com correct dov dovcorbett.com d-a-a-v corbett c-o-r-b-e-t.com yep. so yep awesome and there's a quite a few musings on there too and just some of your Thanks. Um, yeah there's a lot that writings. i've got i've got links to writings i've done i've got links to a bunch of my artwork links to just just kind of a bunch of stuff so you can kind of go there around there mm -hmm. awesome yeah. but thank you so much thanks for Bye. joining us personal thank page you and heighten your spiritual Everybody connection and instagram you. and awesome all right bye. bye have a good night talk to you later and all these programs <laughs> yeah.